physics in astronomy. Now, astronomy, of course, is a physical science and therefore it's not a surprise that to interpret the data which we receive by looking at any astronomical object either through telescope or through radio telescopes where you are not directly seeing the data but receiving the data at the telescope and then later on analyzing it so therefore because it's a physical science it's not surprising that we use the well-known laws of physics to interpret and understand astronomical objects. Now, we will see later that one of the fundamental laws of physics, namely gravitation, actually came out by very, very accurate astronomical observation. Now, one of the basic principles in physics is that of conservation laws. We have conservation of energy, we have conservation of momentum, we have conservation of angular momentum and so on. Now here is an example of using conservation of energy to understand supernovae explosion. It's well known since the days of uh, crab supernovae observed by the Chinese Buddhist monks way back in 1054 AD when they first saw the when they first recorded the crab supernovae a supernova explosion takes place as the core of a star collapses and essentially the energy that drives the supernova explosion is the gravitational potential energy of the entire star when it collapses to very compact object for example if a star from a radius of about 10 to the power 10 centimeters collapses to a radius of about 10 kilometers, then the gravitational potential energy that is liberated is few times 10 to the power 53 Earths. And this energy, since the total energy has to be conserved and the gravitational potential energy has become negative of this, the rest of the energy must be liberated in the form of mechanical energy, which is the kinetic energy of the ejecta of the envelope of the star. So as you can see, when the explosion takes place, about 1% of the energy is transferred to the envelope and envelope essentially gets blown off. But 99% of the energy are carried away by neutrinos. This was well confirmed by the supernova explosion.